Hey gang, Jackalair, we are back again. This is uh, part 9 in the continuing uh, playthrough of Xenosaga Episode 1. Uh, it's been a long time, but we're finally on to part 2. And apparently things are not going well. I'm pretty sure planets aren't supposed to do that. Yeah, pretty sure planets aren't supposed to do that. But let's see uh, what happens from here. What's one and a half billion people to us? Their innocence. Surely they deserve more respect. Respect? For what? Save your philanthropy for someone that cares. The experiment may have been a failure, but I've taken steps to recover the emulator. If the need arises, I'm not against using the original either. All we have to do is repeat the process until we get results. I still have no clue what's going on. I don't know what the emulator is, is or the original. For your conscience to bear, but I'm pretty sure that well, that guy is a complete jerk. Although he is quite a snappy dresser. What about you? Me tried in a court of ignoble commoners? Don't make me laugh. We are the ones who determine life or death. But wait. Pellegri, are you telling me that you've forgotten everything we've been striving for these past 14 years? Commander Margulis. What? A message from Lieutenant Commander Vanderkamp, sole survivor of the Vanguard Force. The unit was decimated. The Zohar emulator unsecured. Where's the Zohar now? Location unknown. Possibly seized by the Gnosis. I see. Notify the 474th Spec Ops Fleet. We may need to implement Plan 31. Have them stand by in the specified coordinates for further orders. Yes, sir. I still love the fact that this game explains nothing to you. It's basically just, you know, we're going to talk about Plan 31. You don't know what Plan 31 is? Well, that's too bad for you. And uh, Fifth Jerusalem. Because the first one has been such a place of peace. Let's make four more of those. So, what can you tell us about this man? He was a special forces agent with the Federation Police. A counter-terrorism specialist. Of course, that was over a hundred years ago. Now he's a cyborg working freelance missions. A cyborg? How anachronistic. He's a relic from the days when they reanimated the dead. They didn't have disposable realians like we do now. Well, he's certainly got quite a resume. Rumor has it he deliberately seeks out missions with low odds of success. Is he insane, or just fascinated with death? Well, he's been given a clean bill of mental health. It doesn't look like he does it for the killing. Humph. <laughs> Advances in science have placed thousands of drugs on our shelves. And yet, we still let psychiatrists wield their influence over us. They use these assessments to validate their existence. I don't believe them one bit. Yeah, you preach to it, man. Well, Those psychiatrists are all crazy. I think but the only way we would know that is if we asked a psychiatrist. Oh, the here. irony. Show him in. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Ziggurat 8, isn't it? Upon your death in TC-4667, you donated your body and chose to become a product of Ziggurat Industries. That's correct. Have you heard about the mission? No. Recently, we received information that a certain armed group has shown signs of resurgence. This same group was responsible for the events that took place 14 years ago. The UTIC organization? That's right. The information we've received from our independent sources has helped to identify the location of the UTIC organization's hideout. Alright, every time they say UTIC, I'm 
this structure was you tick, I tick, we all tick for I tick. It was eventually abandoned and remained uninhabited for centuries. So, you want me to infiltrate and collect information on the group? If that was all we needed, we would have left it to our intelligence agency. Actually, to put it simply, we need you to rescue someone and return her to her rightful place. And technically, she's not human. Just tell me what I need to know. <laughs> A child? Is she a civilian? She's a Realian. A 100 series Realian. You've heard of them? The 100 series observational Realians. Built specifically to combat the Gnosis. I've heard rumors of them. But I didn't know they were disguised as children. Is this the first time you've seen the real thing? Yes. But isn't Vector already mass-producing them? This is a prototype. It will serve as the model for all future 100 series observational units. So, what you're telling me is that securing this little girl takes priority over all else, right? It helps that you're a quick study. So, will you take the mission? A cyborg has no rights. I cannot refuse your request. I will analyze the situation and let you know what weapons and resources I need. I don't mean to demand any compensation, but may I make one request? Go ahead. After my return, I ask that you eliminate the neural memories residing in my brain from my previous life. That's not a problem. But it could be a difficult procedure with a body as outdated as yours. Add as many synthetic parts as necessary. What an odd request. These days, Realians are clamoring for human rights, but here's a man who wants to become a machine. All right, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you. You can get the specifics from her, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi, later. I do find it odd that all these people are putting their faith in him. Most of them don't seem to like him. The other half don't trust him. I mean, if, if you're such hating of a cyborg, why even go with him? I mean, you gotta have somebody else to be able to do it. One shot in the head from his beloved pistol. Did you say suicide? Can we entrust the 100 series to that man? What if his self-destructive tendencies arise? Not to worry. He's been equipped with a safety mechanism which prevents him from hurting himself or abandoning his mission. He was brought back to life against his will. Once he replaces the rest of his brain with synthetics, he'll be a complete machine. Only then, Will he be legally dead? Alright, these people are seriously creeping me out. Because th they can bring people back to life against their will, then turn them into a cyborg, and then make them do whatever they want? Ugh. Oh look, the snappy dresser. Is the food here unsatisfactory? Even realians require nourishment, you know. Are the Federation's 100 series Realians so ill-mannered that they don't even reply to simple questions? I don't like that name. Well, my goodness, pardon me. And what would you like to be called, Miss 100 series Realian? I don't like strangers to be calling me by my name. Where are you planning on taking me? That, I'm afraid, is not for you to know. What will happen to me? You're going to help us out. Machines like you exist to be used. What happens to you after that, God only knows. Assuming you people even have a God, that is. All I can really do is seek out and find the Gnosis. I can't help you with anything! That may be true. 
But this part of you is a little different. We'd like to have a word with the man you have hidden inside of you. In any case, you'd best be keeping yourself alive as long as possible. He will be arriving soon. Wait, did, did... There's a man hidden inside of her? I... I mean, I... I've heard of hentais that go that way, but... Still, that's a little weird. You've got a little girl with a dude in her head? And they kidnapped the little girl? But the little girl's a machine, which is a realien? Which I still haven't found out if those are machines or clones yet? Or if they've got brains or not? I just want to know what's going on. And the farther I get into this game, the less I feel I actually know. But, eh, why not? Well, maybe we'll learn something here. Sweet, I can go invisible. This is gonna be the greatest mission ever. If they don't take it away like they do in every other game when you can be invisible. I am so glad that I just got off of playing uh, Skyrim and Witcher because I am now trained very heavily to save. Whenever there is a spot to save, save. If I could hit F5 on the PlayStation 2 controller, I would hit it. Why is there, why isn't there ever a quick save on a console, or at least not very often? Oh well, let's wander up here and see what trouble we can get into. Even my explosives turn invisible. This is awesome. Wait, why is there a torch? And a giant torch at that. I don't... Well, oh well, whatever. Oh, yes! Robocop vision. Damn it. A malfunction. See, this is this is what happens. It's oh. So that 100 series realian is encoded with extensive amounts. Yeah. Of so data. oh, I'm gonna be but invisible. This is gonna be awesome. Too. This is gonna be easy. I'm super stealth guy. Yes. Oh what? Malfunction. Done. Gone. Like mankind. Solid Snake when you're running around in the beginning of Metal Gear Solid 2 and you like leap off and you're like, Oh, my suit got wet. I can't be invisible anymore. Total crap. Total, total crap. A madman who lost his humanity by immersing himself in science. You look as if you have something to say. Yes, you guessed correctly. He is my ex-husband. Do you want to know what it was like being married to a murderer? No. In any case, it's certain that the organization is frantically trying to get its hands on that data. I'm afraid we don't have much time to spare. Understood. I'll be leaving tomorrow at 0600 hours. Here's something I never understood about the 0600 hours. Now, I've been in the military, and 0600 hours is based on the 24-hour cycle that we have here on Earth. Now, these 
people, things, whatever they are, uh, don't have, they're not on Earth anymore. Yeah, they still go by hours, minutes, and the, they still keep time that way? That's just weird. An operation vital to the human race. That's why I'm sending her there. That's all I can say right now. Besides, this way, I won't have to see her either. Yuri Misrahi, what a strange woman. Okay, so basically just like before, we do this stealth thing, hold down R2, and we walk so that we don't make a lot of noise, avoid the little yellow dot guys, which I'm probably going to be bad at. Well, I take it back. That wasn't that hard. Maybe I won't be too horrible at this after all. I know it's a game, and I know it makes sense in the presence of the game, but I love that I can just walk behind these guys, doing all kinds of crazy stuff, and I finally got caught. But, you know, it's just weird. Alright, now we get to see what he can do. We've got a high kick, a laser blade, and a BMP 55 SX. <laughs> Okay, the lightning fist was actually pretty cool. That was that was kind of awesome. Take it too hard. You didn't stand a chance. I find it weird that that blade on his arm shows up in none of the other scenes. Only in that one. It's kind of weird. I mean, it, I guess he's a Highlander to where it's just like, Oh, oh yeah, I have this magic sword. Of course I have a magic sword. Ha ha!
I love that it all but spoon feeds you to go over there and do that, and yet it still asks you, do you want to do it, yes or no? I wonder what would have happened if I would have flipped the switch again, if I could have just cracked that guy. Oh, the button's gone. Oh, of course. I was wondering why I didn't do that, and, eh, well, there's no button, so makes sense, I guess. That's odd. B Block hasn't checked in yet. I'll go check up on them. You two, stay right there! Yes, sir! Is something wrong out there? Shut up and sit down! Alright, I know she's some weird kind of android thing, but still, that's kind of harsh. Just, uh, sit down, shut up, sit down, blah, 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 blah. hesitate if you wish to live. Yeah, the physical attacks are definitely the best on these guys. Uh, so keep that in mind. The, the, the high kick and the jackknife. Best. Best overall attacks. The first rule survival is to only think about oneself. Who are you? The contact subcommittee sent me here to rescue you. The contact subcommittee? Mommy? Stand away from the door. I'm going to break it in. Wait, you can't! They said an alarm would go off if I tried to force it open. Hmm. I guess looks can be deceiving. There should be a master key held somewhere in this block. If you can find it... Alright. I'll be right back. Ah, it's not quite Arnold's I'll be back, but I'll be right back from a cyborg of a kid inside a cell. I don't know. Yeah, I don't like that I have to go in here to use medkits. I'm I'm not really used to using medkits anymore. I think that's just that I am I've I've played too many current games to where like, the, the ones that you play, you don't end up using them hardly at all. I mean, it's been a long time since I played uh, Final Fantasy, where, you know, you had this, we had to, uh, we had these little uh, tray tables, and it was a yellow uh, tray table, and I used to take the controller and go to purchase the health potion. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> <laughs> ah, he finally caught me. Anyways, so uh, when playing Final Fantasy, I used to take uh, the tray table, and I would take one of the legs of the tray table, put my controller under it, and just lean it on the A button, and that way it would constantly purchase the healing potions. So it would purchase them over and over again. It was really the only way to do it, because you couldn't, in the original Final Fantasy for the Nintendo, you couldn't purchase multiples of anything. So if you wanted to purchase 10, you had to go, you know, buy healing potion. Yes. Buy healing potion. Yes. Buy healing potion. Yes. Buy healing over and over and over again. So I just ended up, uh, you know, putting the tray table on it and walking away for a little bit, coming back and be like, oh, okay. All right. I spent all my money. I must have enough now. Anyways, sorry. Weird sidetrack here. But these fights are mediocre at best. Perhaps interference still lingers within me.
This is turning into such a weird game. I don't remember... I don't remember any... stealth action Japanese RPGs from the past. Of course, you know, I don't remember everything, so... I still don't know what money's for. No. Oh. There's a bad guy. Fight time. Oh look, there were actually two of them. Reminds me of the droids from uh, the Black Hole. I don't know if any of you ever saw the Black Hole. It was a Disney movie, and it was super creepy for me as a kid. It was one of the ones that I just, I don't know, didn't like. Um, do you know the bases layout. Yada yada yada. I guess I got to talk to the droid. Oh, well, of course it detected me. Well, it's, this guy's a giant pain, if I remember right. Oh yeah, you attack him and he summons the two little things. Now I remember. If I remember right, this fight goes on for quite some time. Just bear with me. It's actually kind of a cool fight mechanic. It's just, it just it seems to go on a little long. Maybe I... And I don't remember if leveling up earlier when I was with Cosmos and... Uh, what's her name? If that would have made a little more sense. Now. I don't remember if it carried over or not. I'll have to look it up and find out. Anyways.
go! Oh, thankfully. See, I told you that was a long fight. But now at least you see uh, what works and what doesn't. So let's m move on to figuring out the rest of this. Oh, the Master Key. Well, it's not the Master Sword, but I'll live. I love that it should be able to open the the cell doors. Does anybody really have a master key? Has anybody lived anywhere that had one? I think we had one... Living Quarters is the only place that I can think of where there was ever actually a master key that could like open all of the doors. And that was just so that, you know, for ease of use if the if the building was on fire and somebody couldn't get a door open, the sergeant on on duty could go up and unlock the door and let everybody out. Aside from that, I don't think there's ever really been a, a master key. I don't know. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> save spot. Uh, I haven't been keeping track, but I believe that's, like, save spot number four or five in the game. We haven't run across that many, and some of them have been backtracked back to the same one. It's just weird that they're they're spaced out so far. I mean, I guess there's no overworld yet, so that, like, in most games you could only save in the overworld unless there were those magic little spots on the ground. I don't know. Let's uh, rescue the little girl, though. Let me just confirm. You are the 100 series observational unit prototype, correct? I don't really like that name. Do you have another one? We'll talk later. Let's go. Momo! Daddy calls me Momo. And then I wonder if that's where they got the name for Momo, the flying squirrel thing cool. in The Last Airbender. Okay. I mean, that was pretty cool, but... I don't know. Momo? That just <laughs> seems kind of like a funny name. The ladders still freak me out, and I know it's probably an animation thing, but they still freak me out that you get off on the side. That sounded wrong. I just want a room without that noise. I, oh. oh. I can go back in this room and there's no noise. Oh. This is the room with the robot. Why does a giant robot need a sword? I mean, it, don't get me wrong, it's cool. But it's a giant robot with a sword. Uh, I guess we're putting up with this noise. Uh, let's go back and save and then we'll we'll call this an episode. 
Alright, so uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll continue playing through uh, Xeno Saga Episode 1. Uh, I'll have put another episode up here in a little bit. And until then, as always, play on! Oh, that noise!